Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you a brief update on what's been going on with the channel and kind of things with me. Uh, if you follow me on any of my socials or the Discord or Twitch, you'll kind of know a brief idea of why I haven't been on the YouTube channel. It's because my mom unfortunately passed away. Um, she passed away at the end of October, so the last couple month and a half, other than you know taking care of her from August until October, I just haven't had time. And if you're still subbed and you're seeing this, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, this has always been a side project to the Twitch streaming and I kind of felt bad that I had to just leave it by the wayside. I did put out the video saying, hey, it, there's no videos for a while because of this, but at the same time, you know, I still feel bad. Uh, one of the things I do want to let you know is I don't know that I really want to create uh, edited videos. That's not really my thing. I've never really been into editing videos. My ADHD doesn't like it. I prefer streaming. Streaming is my favorite way to, to, to do this hobby. Um, so what I plan on doing is starting to stream on YouTube. So I'm looking at Wednesdays and Sundays, I might do streaming. Wednesdays will be a night stream. Sundays will be a morning stream. That way I can hit both audiences and hopefully that'll help put some content on the channel. If that's not your thing, I'm totally sorry, but that's kind of what I want to do. Now, does that mean I'll never make a video? Absolutely not. I still plan on making videos, um, like edited structured videos. I just am not going to make that a focus. Um, one of the main reasons is because I don't know what to do them on and the reason is part three of this uh, conversation is enlisted. I'm not having fun with the game anymore. I'm really not. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. It's been about a month time coming and the game just isn't clicking. Uh, this most recent blog post talking about bringing smoke, cool. The one before that talking about artillery strikes and phosphorus and other campaigns, I, I checked out. Um, the, the game has so many explosions and so many ways to die to explosions that it's just frustrating. It's really frustrating. Like, yes, you die in explosions in other games. I'm gonna use Call of Duty as an example because I play Call of Duty multiplayer on the side. I would probably say out of one match, I probably die to a grenade or a, a claymore maybe three to four times. Every other time I die, let's say it's 10 other times, it's to a person with a gun in a 1v1 fight. And it feels great when I get them and it sucks when I don't. But it's at least a fight. It's not somebody just calling an artillery off in the distance or sitting in the gray zone with a tank or bombing in a plane. It's an actual fight that I had some chance of winning that I could have done better in that I failed. And I'm kind of tired of dying to explosions. It's not the meta that I wanted this game to have. Everybody who plays Enlisted plays for the gunplay. The gunplay was one of the things we all really liked. The sounds, the feel of the guns, it was fun. But that's kind of going by the wayside because in reality, the only guns that matter now are automatics because I don't think the devs know what the definition of recoil is in the dictionary anymore. And an explosion. Everything is an explosion in this game. And now there's even more. One of the big examples is they're bringing the TNT charges for tanks to kill tanks to all the campaigns. Okay, cool. Why do we still have explosion packs then? Get rid of the explosive packs only or, or make it so the explosive packs can only like track a tank. Maybe you can break the barrel of the tank. But you shouldn't be able to destroy the tank with an explosive pack, right? Decrease the damage. That way, when someone wants to destroy the tank, they have to get up close. They have to use a TNT charge, which means the infantry surrounding the tank actually has to watch and take care of the tank. Makes so much more sense than sitting somewhere hidden, you know, a mile away and just yeeting an explosive pack and getting the kill. I did it last night on stream. There was a, a Puma hiding behind a wall on D-Day. I threw the explosive pack over the wall because I knew where the, the Puma was and I killed it. There was no risk to me and it was the easiest tank kill of my life, right? That's so stupid. Anyways, I digress. Um, beyond that, this whole concept of them uh, making the bot players better, kind of, that's kind of what pissed me off. I'll be very honest with you. That's what really drew, drew me over the edge. I don't care about the bot players being able to call her an artillery. What I care is not having bot players to play with. I don't play video games online to play with bots. I don't want to play with bot lobbies. That's not fun. That's the most boring way to play a game. If I wanted to play a game with bots, I'd go play a single player campaign of like Call of Duty or something, because at least then I know that they're bots because it's a campaign. It's meant to be a single player co-op experience against an AI, not an MMO shooter. So the fact that that was one of the focuses of this new patch um, kind of ticks me off. I'll be honest with you, that really rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm still gonna play Enlisted and I'll still stream Enlisted, but I don't think it's gonna be a priority anymore. Uh, maybe like one or two times a week pops. 
and one of those days will be on YouTube. One of those days will be on Twitch if I fill up to it. The reason that I came to that moment was last night I did a poll in my chat, uh, or on my Discord, excuse me, to what I should play. Enlisted, Pokemon, or the WoW expansion, because the, the WoW expansion came out. Mind you, as I put the poll out, I'm playing the WoW expansion. I'm currently on my dragon, dragon riding around looking for ore for my rogue to do jewel crafting. And enlisted in Pokemon tie. So I'm thinking, all right, I'll play enlisted, whatever. Only like three people voted anyway, so it was like, whatever. I'm not gonna hurt anyone's feelings. So I play enlisted. The moment it hit eight o'clock and I had to turn off World of Warcraft and play enlisted, my mood completely just went sour. Not because I was mad at the community for picking enlisted, absolutely not. It was their decision. Cool, I'll play what you guys want. It's because I had to stop playing something I actually was having fun with and I had to turn on Enlisted, and that's the moment I realized I don't really like this game right now. This game is just not for me. And for all of you who hung out with me last night, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't in the best of moods while playing. I, I fully acknowledge that, and I apologize. I was a salty bitch last night because I just was not having fun. And again, I'm sorry. But the truth is, I'm just not into the game right now. Maybe after a couple updates, I'll get back into it. But right now, I just I could care less. I don't want to make videos for it. I barely want to stream it. I still will, but I don't really want to sometimes. And to be honest, if it's an enlisted day, let's say it's Friday and I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to stream it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm no longer going to be forced to stream the game because I'm not having fun. I'm going to play something I'm enjoying. For example, the other day, I don't remember what we were doing. We were just randomly talking and I just turned on Resident Evil 2 and I just played all the way through Resident Evil 2. Mind you, I was streaming on Discord. I wasn't streaming on Twitch. And I had like five people hanging out with me and I just went beat Resident Evil 2. And I had so much fun, so much fun because it's my favorite game. And if you guys didn't know, Resident Evil 2 remakes my favorite game. I was having so much fun playing it. I haven't felt that playing Enlisted in the longest time. I just don't feel that fun anymore. I feel like it's an obligation. And that's the part that scared me when I started streaming it and only it was when am I gonna hit that wall? And I'm being honest with you, I'm hitting that wall. It now feels like an obligation, not a fun experience. So enlisted content will continue. And like I said, I will stream it on YouTube and I am going to stream it on Twitch, but not as often anymore. Which gets me to the next point. I don't want this to be a long video. The event, if you're a part of the event, which I think there's only five people speaking which kind of sad that more people didn't participate in the Bounty Hunter event. I was so excited for it. Uh, there's only five, but to you five, if you watch this video, I'm still going to pay out at the end of the month based on who wins. Um, that's still happening. I still have the, the card with the cash on it right here. Don't worry. You guys are still fighting it out and thank you guys for participating. Um, this event likely will not happen again just because there isn't any participation. Um, I, ex I will be honest with you. I kind of was hoping for at least 20 optimistically like 15, but it's only five and that kind of, it, it, you know, it sucks. I'll be honest. With you. I'm going to just lay it out. It sucks. I was hoping the event would be fun and more people would want to participate, but nobody does other than these five. And, and again, for you five, please keep going. It's I'm hoping you're having fun doing it, but that means I'm probably not going to do it again because it's not going to be worth it, right? This was supposed to be a spectacle. This was supposed to be fun. My whole point of having this was done was I was going to make a video showing some of the screenshots and some of the videos and like a, a condensed edit when we show the winner, like who won? Here's some of the videos and screenshots they, they did but I don't know that that's necessary because there's very few people and one person only submitted one screenshot and they're technically in fifth because no one else has put up anything else. So I'm a little bummed, I'll be honest, I'm a little bummed, but hey, it was an experiment and some experiments just don't click and that's all right. Last but not least, what are we going to now? I don't know. I really don't know what I want to play now. Um, I've been playing World of Warcraft and I know a lot of you guys who are you know enlisted fans are rolling your eyes going, oh, you're gonna play WoW. Maybe, I might. I actually really like World of Warcraft when I want to relax. It's one of my favorite games to play when I just want to explore and grind for ore or something because it's relaxing. Um, I've been playing a lot of the new Pokemon Scarlet, the new Call of Duty I actually do enjoy. I'm terrible at it, but I enjoy it. Uh, I do like playing Overwatch. So there are other shooters and other, you know, fast paced action games I am into. But like, I want to have another night like I did when I played Resident Evil 2 where I'm just loving gaming again and hanging out with my friends. I stream to make friends. I stream to meet people. I stream to have a community of people that I can be friends with. A lot of people are always saying, oh, streamers aren't your friends. I would like to think that a lot of them are my friends, the people who are in my community. 
right? There's one individual who's been sick and I, you know, I check up on them every once in a while. Their family member was sick and I took time out of my way to check up on them because I consider them my friend. They're not just a viewer to me. I don't do this for money. I have a comfortable job. I'm happy with my financial situation. I don't need any more money. I do this because it is fun and it is a hobby of meeting people. So like other things I want to stream are, for example, I have my whole painting station over. I finally got my table set up. I got a chair. I got the arm for the camera, everything. Kind of want to stream painting again. Some people aren't going to dig it. It's going to be boring to them. I totally get it. But like, I love painting minis. It's a great like relaxation project. Kind of want to do that. Amy, wife, you don't know who that is, wants to do board game days where we just stream her kicking my ass at Unmatched or one of the other board games I have on the wall over here. Um, and you know, maybe I, we could do that and put those into a video on YouTube. Maybe, who knows? I, I just like having a variety of things to do because that's just the way I am. I understand variety content isn't everybody's cup of tea and often that's the hardest stuff, you know, hardest channel type to grow as a variety streamer, but that's still who I am. And I don't want to change for the sake of playing Enlisted all the time because now the game is just, it's just not fun for me. So I apologize if this is news you don't want to hear. And if you decide to, you know, unsub uh, on Twitch or unsub on YouTube or unfollow, I will totally understand. I'm not going to take it personal, right? If you came to me thinking I'm an enlisted only content creator, that's not going to be the case for right now. And maybe in the future, if they do an update that really changes the game, they actually, you know, look up in the dictionary what recoil means and they stop making automatics the meta. And, you know, when someone like me or like Enlightened Enlisted wants to run around with the bolt action, we can still top the leaderboard but it doesn't make it any less obvious when everybody's trying to be, you know, STG, you know, Andes, and that's all they can do. It's still frustrating. You know, we can still kick your ass. I can still shoot you faster than you can see me, but at the same time, it's still kind of like, okay, you're also using the meta gun. Woo woo. Remember the FG42 days? Oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna start ranting. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. I don't know what's going to happen. This channel is going to have some cool things. Like I said, I'm really excited to stream on it. Um, we'll see from there. The new year is going to be a fun time. Thank you guys for hanging out. I love you guys. I'll see you later.